no, 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 no. <laughs> Hello everybody and welcome back to World of Tanks and today I've got a double serving of gameplay for you so make sure you stick around because we've got We've got two games and I'm playing them in a platoon. I'm playing with RG and Tom and all three of us are playing in our LT432s and this is just a little bit broken. Only slightly. Um, the first game you're going to see is what these things could do when you've got them in a three man platoon in a tier 10 game. As you can see we're on uh, Redshire, there's uh, Four tier tens, uh, I can't even see. Three tier nines, and then some tier eights that I can't be bothered to do maths quick enough for. Um, so yeah, this is probably one of the worst matchups you could get an LT four three two into. And I'm yawning again. Wh whoever's got it on the bingo card, I've already yawned in this video. Um, <laughs> are we going to show you what these things can do in a tier ten game? And then the next game, we are basically top tier so you're gonna want to stick around for that one because it's just absolutely brutal really um but yes the lt432 what is it all about you've got basically the best light tank at tier 8 sat right in front of you this thing is it's got a great gun it's, as you can see, very mobile, very low profile, so good camo rating. It's also got armor. Not armor you can rely on, but every like more often than not, you will bounce one or two shots in a game. And it's kind of like, oh, okay, I'm a light tank. But it's this is one of the tanks that I'm kind of like, yeah, what were you thinking, Wargamer, when you put it in? It is just better than most other t- I'm yawning again, honestly. I haven't yawned for about the last two hours and then I'd press record and start talking and go <laughs> Um, It is one of the best tier 8 tanks that are, is in the game, especially played well. And it's it, it's one of the cheaper premiums. Like, RG only bought- the reason we're playing 3-man LT432 platoons is because RG bought one of these because it was on sale the other day. I don't know if it's still on sale, if it isn't, I'm sorry. Um, but, well, actually, I'm not sorry, because that means I don't have to play against more of them when I'm playing other tanks. But it is an absolutely ridiculous tank. As you can see here, just look at the, the DPM of this thing. If, if you want to laugh, right, and if you want to laugh, pause the video right now, open up another tab, go to Tanks GG, go to Compare, and then compare this thing to the Tier 10 British Light Tank, the Manticore. And then come back to me. Yeah, it's, it's, it's absolutely ridiculous. And when you put three of them in a platoon, as that Basante just found out, it, it becomes quite awful for everybody who's involved. I mean, you're just about to see the DPM of this tank. It does 180 average damage um, on the standard rounds, which are APCR, by the way, so the shell velocity is very, very nice. And my reload is every 4.3 seconds. The accuracy isn't amazing, but it's not bad. Um, obviously, the shell velocity helps when it comes to sniping things. Uh, just look at this. It's three LT432s. Look, this is a bat chat. This is a tier 10. We're doing... 540 damage every four seconds to him, near enough. If that was an autoloader that was put in the game, people would stop playing the game. <laughs> Look at that. They all came over because they thought, oh, we, we, we get to push, was it that TVP? I think it was the TVP set there. Oh, there's four tanks just come over to try and get one TVP. The TVP gets away because there's four. Uh, there's three LT432s just sat there just shooting. It's just honestly insane. And like I said, this is in a tier 10 game. We're, we are playing quite passive, but if you looked at the map just before we came over here, this side was definitely falling. We've got most of our tanks on the other side. Yes, we're being quite passive on this side. But at the end of the day, we can't rush a tier... Like, if a tier 10 bad chat does catch us off guard, we are going to die. This thing isn't, like, ridiculously impenetrable. There's no way anyone can ever deal with it. If all four of those tanks were to come at us we would die because the bat chat can kill one of us in three shots whilst the other guys are working over the other ones it's you're not gonna you're not completely invulnerable but you play these things right you get them in a in the right place 
are even not in the right place because because they can um they can uh, relocate and everything like that. And look, Tom then decides, oh, you know what? He's gonna go forward. He's gonna spot, and that's another two tanks just dead. Fe four two o two one. Someone else shoots him, and clearly the third person in our platoon can't shoot him. But it doesn't matter because four point three seconds later, he's dead anyway. And that's like six tanks that have died just due to us. What have we got? We've got the Bat Chap, we've got the Basante, FV, STA, both 12 Ts, and I killed the LM L LHMTV. I always get that wrong. Now, moving in, we know that it's only the IS-32 on this flank. I kind of go first because I've got the most hit points, and there's a little bit of confusion here. I'm just going to pause the replay just very quickly. I thought RG was going to come in behind me and come around this way and then come in, and obviously that would have been a lot quicker than what he actually did, which was that both of them drove around. So I actually am alone here against an IS-32, and this is where you can see I'm not completely invulnerable. Like, this guy would kill me. But now I've got the support. I decide I just need to try and get out of there, try and dodge. IS-32 misses, fortunately for me. And then we can just make sure that the guns can't be seen and just finish him off. And again, there's just, you can, especially when you're playing a platoon of three of these things, you can just swarm people. And they, they, you've got such high DPM amongst the three tanks. And you're so hard to hit because if it's anything like a heavy tank or a tank destroyer, you can circle it. And if it's a light tank, light tanks usually bounce off this thing once or twice. It's just absolutely insane. And again, ISU. I decide to sit back because I'm only on like 300 odd hit points. Put two in. Make sure that he doesn't shoot me. I'm trying to use a third person here. You can see me trying to find a gap through the trees. See if I can see the S1. Shoot me in the compiler. Not quite. I do actually put... This is one of the... I like playing this tank. Obviously, it's a premium tank as well, I'd like to point out. So, I, you make decent credits from it. Um... Because it, this thing's similar to the T100 in the fact that the standard rounds are APCR and the premium rounds are AP. And I actually prefer the standard rounds to the premium rounds. Because 9 times out of 10, you're you're trying to... um You're circling things anyway. So if 176 pen isn't enough, 218 isn't going to be enough, enough either. Because you've usually got sides or rears. It's very rare that you actually have to... Um, fire AP at the fronts of things and obviously the AP's got worse shell velocity and blah 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 but yeah it's all in all uh, just a very very good tank and you know only noob die because RG's a noob really honestly he should really get better at the game but yeah that's what this thing can do in a tier 10 game when we have to be slightly more cautious we sniped at range we use our DPM like that now what you're gonna see is what happens when you put this thing in a tier 6 game and you don't quite have to be as cautious. So, not to disappoint, when I said we had a good matchup, I meant we had a really good matchup. We are the only three tier 8s in the game and we are in an LT432 platoon. Now, we're on Fisherman's Bay and... It, we could have done the standard spotting, you know, like up to the mid ridge, one come this way, one do mid ridge, one do over here, and you know, we spot for the team and it's all good, but we're not going for that this game because we are three LT432s. And we are practically, in this kind of a matchup, you're as near as down it makes no difference, a medium tank. Or three medium tanks, you could say. And we've got other light tanks on the team that can do stuff, so what we've done is we've rushed into the town. And this is a play that me and Tom like to do when we're playing like 277s or 260s. Um, obviously you rush right the way round. Um, you get here before things like mouses and stuff get here. And obviously in this matchup, we're going to get here before a T29 gets here. We come round and all we do is we just you just sit around the side of these buildings. Because nobody ever come, really comes around this way. And if they do, as you can see, we're all pre-aimed at the corner. So if they do, they're not going to last very long. <laughs> and... Then what we do is we wait a second, and we're not waiting here because we're camping. We're waiting here for the enemy team that are going to obviously take a little while to trundle through around this way and get into the town and be like, right, we've got a good place set up in the town. And then what we decide is, okay, we're done waiting. They're probably going to be in the town now. A 45 TP just got spotted. An SU-152 and a T-29 just got spotted. That's three tier 7s. We're only tier 8s, remember. And... There goes the 45 TP. That was about a second and a half. 
uh, to Kim to die. SU next, I think. Uh, SU next. Obviously, uh, we've just played Clown Wars as well, so when it, uh, we're getting used to focus firing. But you know, it's that, that, there goes the SU and oh, T29, very dangerous tier seven tank. It'd be an awful, awful shame if oh, he's dead. Um, and there you go. There's uh, three tier seven tanks. The only two heavy tanks on the enemy team and a heavy tank destroyer just completely mauled and we took a grand total of about 300 damage for the privilege yeah <laughs> this platoon's fair and balanced by the way i'd just like to point out it's it's definitely we definitely didn't have about a 80 percent win rate in it at all or anything like that because obviously, even in full tier 8 games, like when you're literally full tier 8, it really doesn't matter. Ah, EBR. No overpowered tank there, I see. Ah. We don't even need the third LT432. Tom's already gone up the middle. We're, it's just me and RG are just really just going, yeah, we'll, we'll go deal with that. Um, We'll go deal with that EBR. Uh, just so he's not, you know, running around and killing our friends and stuff. And already at this point... Our team's got nine kills. We've got six of those. We were actually we were playing these to try and get a crucial contribution at one point, which is it's difficult to do because obviously trying to get a crucial, you've got to cover all areas of the map, and you want to you still want to stick together because if we'd have gone separate, yes, we could we'd have probably been more likely to you know try and steal all the kills and everything like that. And there we go, the crucial can no longer be done. Yeah, this bit's quite funny. You, I, I think as long as I've edited this right, you should see this. Oh no, look, Argy's chasing an even run, 90 round. Rather than going the same way around, I'm going to go the other way. Hi! <laughs> that even 90 went from, ah, yeah, I can outmaneuver an LT432 to full code brown. Oh my god, I've shat myself in approximately 0.12 seconds. I'm pretty sure. And again, we're just like, look, there's three tank destroyers back here and I'm just like I really don't care I'm just gonna yeah arty arty oh no I missed oh well shame bad one for them repair the tracks because you know I'm not sitting around and kill the um, t50-2 and um, kill the wz uh, wz the t32 gft as well and you know pick of the last four kills I got all, all four of them um, so you could be up to seven kills. <laughs> and, well, squashing some tanks in the process. Like that AMX-13, uh, that's not going to buff out anytime soon, mate. And that ELC, yeah, I think, is, is still talking to, uh, seeking professional help. Um, yeah. <laughs> what could I say? <laughs> Triple LT-432 platoons. It's it's quite fun. Um, I'm not going to do love too long. I think it pretty much speaks for itself. Um, so we're going to take a look at the post-game stats. We'll go with the Red Shy game first, and then we'll um, do the uh, Fisherman's Bay game. But if you have enjoyed this video, guys, make sure you give it a like. If you're new to the channel, please consider subscribing. And yeah, let's go take a look at the post-game stats. So, first game, and that was obviously the Red Shy one? Yeah, Red Shy. Um... <laughs> Not an amazing game, personally. Like, it wasn't an ace. It wasn't 17 gajillion kills with 57,000 damage. It was it was a second class, so not too bad. I mean, it's still got a confederate. It did 3,231 damage, which is still pretty good. But it shows you how high the ace tanker requirement is in this game. Obviously, I think as well, a lot of that we were shooting at, and it wasn't my spotting. Like, all of the guys that came over the hill... Uh, the bat chat, for example, the FE obviously wasn't mine because I was shooting through bushes. I was double bushing and that. But still, it's it's not a bad game. But it's it's more the fact that if you order it by XP in a in a tier ten game, I'd like to point out, and obviously the tier eight. But then more importantly, you order it by damage in a tier ten game, and our platoon finished first, second, and fifth on damage. Yeah. I fired 34 shots, hit 25 and penned 19. And obviously, because it's a tier 8 premium tank, we had battle payments on, so it is a little bit more. And I think I got something else. I might have had a personal reserve on or something. No, I don't really know. Um, well, you still made like 136,000 credits profit. And you've got to remember as well, I run pretty consumable. Which is, yeah. Uh, the other game, similar story really. Only a second class. I didn't do a huge, huge amount of damage. But obviously, in that kind of game, there's not actually that many 
hit points available. Uh, I got Top Gun as well because I got seven kills. But again, it's the fact that between us we did 6,700 damage or something close-ish to that, 6,600 something along those lines. It's just, yeah, like th there's there's no doubt about that. That that was always going to happen, wasn't it? I mean, top on damage, top on XP. But it's just, just like their SU-152, their 45 TP and the T-29, Guys who could have probably had a good game and like like these guys, I don't know how good they were. I honestly don't know. But they're in a platoon. They're the uh, well, they're the only heavy tanks in the game like that. They, you know, beat the tiger and who knows what happens. But we just at the start of the game just went, no, <laughs> no, you don't. You you're not doing this. Obviously, heavy tanks are easy to pick on in these things because they fire at one of you. They take off like a third of one of the platoon's health. You then just make sure that he doesn't take another shot and you just kill them. Because like I said, you do 540 damage every 4 seconds. If a tank's got a 9 second reload, he dies. <laughs> Simple as that. Uh, it's just, uh, again, decent credits. It's just it's just filthy. It's filthy, 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 filthy. Um, but anyway, thank you all so much for watching the video. Um, the more observant of you will notice that I've recorded this whole video at 720p. I forgot to change my recording settings since I last streamed, and quite honestly, I can't be bothered to go back and re-record the whole thing, so boom! You have a 720p video, suck it. I really can't be bothered to change it. Um, so yeah, there's another bingo one on your bingo card, Max fucked it up. Anyway, thank you all so much for watching, guys. I hope you have enjoyed the video, even if it has been at 720p. If you're new to the channel, please consider subscribing. If you've enjoyed the video, give it a like, and hopefully... I will see you next time. Bye, bye.